George and we're from Joe George here in Las Vegas, Nevada. We're going to go over our procedure for using the watch out system. First of all, in the morning when I'm doing my pre-trip and I'm walking around the truck, a lot of times, or every day, I'll go ahead and tap this. I want to see if I remember to empty it the night before, okay? And when I'm on the other side, I'll go ahead and I'll look in the, the bucket that hangs on the end of the chute, you know, just to make sure I emptied it and I'm ready to go for this day. In my toolbox is, a, I carry a hammer, you can carry a screwdriver. Right here I got a piece of rebar that I picked up on the job. So, for instance, if you forgot to empty this, you could go ahead and uh, take the plug out before you go to get loaded. And you can go ahead and uh, you know knock a little hole in here, drain out the water, give it a few taps, you know, get it cleaned out enough to go ahead and get loaded, you know. Then you can go ahead and clean it up better later. Once a week we're required to grease our rollers and our, our boosters and all the circs and stuff. And when I'm doing that, what I'll do is I'll come over here and I'll pull this plug out, right? And I'll go ahead and I'll, I'll unscrew it. Right in here, and see in here, I'll put a little bit of grease. When I'm greasing the rest of the truck, I'll go ahead and put it in here. This keeps this working in you know, pretty good shape for a long time. I probably had this plug here for almost a year, right? A lot of times they'll just wear out after a couple months, you know, because they just get too dirty, right? So I make sure I put that in. Well, one thing I noticed, a lot of guys are driving around and they got this out of the hole and it's just dangling. Me, I kind of like to have it in place where it needs to be because, you know, I might get to the job and want to use it and it's not there. So, another thing while I'm doing the greasing, right here we got a grease cert. Okay, you got the same type of uh, nozzle on uh, the washout bucket, which I'm going to show you in a minute. But it's the same type of setup. So what I do when I'm greasing is I'll open this up, put the grease cert right here and just give it a little bit of grease, right? I'll work it in, I'll put a little on my finger, and I'll put it right here, you know, and I'll work that in. So, you know, that's greased up, ready to go, you know, and I'll do the other one else. out your chute as best as you can right because whatever you got left in that chute is going to end up in that bucket when we're doing the wash out. So we're going to go get our bucket go over here on this rack you know when you're doing your pre-trip you're going to want to look at it make sure the bungee's still there right you know and it's not frayed or anything like that and another thing you want to check well you'll check it every time you use it you know make sure this thing's not damaged you know, sometimes they, they get old, they might get a little rusty, you know, or if it's bent or whatever, make sure uh, it's solid on the truck. You know, if you have any questions about it whatsoever, go to the shop. Okay, one thing you want to remember with these buckets, you know, make sure they're not leaking after you fill them with the liquid and stuff, you know, if there's any liquid coming out onto the ground, you know, when you get back, go to the shop, have them fix it. You know, a lot of times, on a regular job site it might not be that big a deal but the next job you might be at the airport okay this part right here it doesn't matter if you have just one chute on or you got three chutes on it's the same technique I don't put the hose on yet what I do here is I go ahead and I just clean out the chutes and what I want to do the least amount of water possible, you know, because we're going to have to pick this up afterwards with the right here, right, so we can finish washing out. So I always try to use the least amount of water possible. You know, I get it wet, I'll rub on it, and rinse it down, right? Whether it's one chute, two chutes, three chutes, right? Just hang it on the end, you're going to do all three chutes. I got these rinsed out, make sure you pick this up right, okay? You know, if you're doing it right, there should only be about this much water in there. You know, it shouldn't be too heavy. Take it off. Go ahead and set it down. Now rinse it out. Go ahead and hit the shoot. Put this on right then. Right then when you're thinking about it. 
you're gonna put it on later, you're probably gonna forget. They got piles of remnants and concrete and stuff like that. You can dump the remnants on that, right? If you're unsure what to do with that, or they didn't say that you could use that pile, or if you're in a neighborhood where you can't be, you know, confident or uh, on the strip or something like that, pick it up, take it back. Whatever you do, don't take it up the ladder, okay? That's a big no-no. Big safety issue. Okay, get it on the rack. Make sure you put the bungee back on there, okay?
right, let that drain. I'll take the lid off. If you don't have a lid, get a lid, okay? Try to keep all your stuff maintained. Now then I'll take my uh, hose, rinse it out, get it out as best as you can. So a lot of this is, you know, it's customer service and safety. You know, you want all your stuff to work right. You know, when you get on the job site, you don't want to be leaking all over the place. You want everything to work. You know, it just makes us look better. Say it again. Now when we're done washing out, I try to make it look like we weren't even there. 